What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about my first ever girlfriend. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to call her Avery. Now Avery was a really cool girl, you know, it was, it was a fun relationship, but let's rewind it back to the first day we met. So it was 8th grade at the time, you know, I was a band kid, you know, I'm trying to figure out who I am, you know, everyone's trying to figure out who they are in the school, and I'm figuring out, you know, I'm just going to be a normal ass kid. And I had this really big crush on this girl named Avery. But the thing was, she had a boyfriend of like, I don't remember how many months, but she had a boyfriend at the time. And then one day I see her come into the classroom just like bawling in tears. And so I kind of ask her, you know, what happened? And she tells me that her and her boyfriend just broke up. Now, this is middle school, dude. They probably were dating for like, I don't know, four or five months. But, you know, it's middle school, so it's not like a serious, serious relationship. But it was my first one, so just bear with me here. But so me and her, you know, we start talking a little bit. You know, we're starting to get to know each other. And... About a month later, it was around Halloween, um, you know, she asked me to be her boyfriend. Now, me being the sexy goldfish I am, I swoop in like a hawk, and I immediately say yes. Now, this is also the time I had my first phone, and I started getting a lot of people snaps. I unadded a lot of people that I really didn't know, and then at that time, it was really just the main people I talked to was my friend Nate, the girlfriend Avery, my friend Joey. So it all goes down at this this place. We go to Cedar Point, if you guys know what that is. We go to Cedar Point at the end of our eighth grade year. It was like our eighth grade sign off or whatever. It was it was awesome. But so I told her that I was going with my friends and I wasn't going with her. So she got really mad about that. And basically we talked about it and, you know, everything seemed to be fine. But then I figure out that one of my friends, Devin, he tells me that she is cheating on me at the moment with him and he already has a girlfriend so he tells me immediately so i confront her at one of the lines at cedar point you know she's denying it whatever so i tell her we're done and then she tells me that she can decide when we're done and we're not done yet so me being the pimp i am i tell her you know we're done you know you tried to cheat on me with my best friend that's not how i roll we're done and i don't want to see you ever again but then she has the audacity to say you know you have all these girls in your snap you know, let me go through your phone to see how many girls you got. So I give her my phone. She figures out I have literally no one in my snap other than her, my three friends, and a couple other friends that are all guys. So now she's in a pickle because she thinks I was cheating on her, I guess, and she's bawling to me, you know, saying not to leave her. But, yeah, I left her. But, yeah, moral of the story is that if you're going to cheat, do it correctly. No, I'm kidding. The actual moral of the story is that don't cheat. It never helps you in the long run. And um, if you want, just stay single, you know, don't try to get a girlfriend just to prove who you are. But yeah, that's going to wrap the video, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. And uh, if you want any other story times, let me know because I'm kind of running out of ideas. I'm just kidding. I have a lot more ideas, but just let me know if you like these. But that's going to be all and uh, see you guys on the next one. Bye.